All right, so we have the Ten of Wands. If this is about dropping a burden, straight up dropping a burden. In fact, you've got a couple of cards here that talk about release. I mean, this is a really heavy reading, I'm just going to tell you straight up. So those people that this resonates with, you kind of feel like you've got the weight of the world on your shoulders. You're being held back. Like, you're, you're stuck. It's quicksand. That's what you feel like you're in at the moment. If that's not, you know, how you're feeling at this time, then this probably isn't your reading. Um, I kind of feel like the messages have been quite specific that have been coming through this time. So it may be that the messages are just for a couple of people that need to hear them. But with the Ten of Wands coming up, this is a burden that you've been carrying for quite a while. And it's not just, I mean, you're not just stuck in quicksand. You've been trying everything, but it's like the more you struggle, the deeper you cut. That's why I'm saying quicksand. It's You keep getting stuck even more. Now that is changing, that is shifting, but we have a lot of stuck energy coming up here, a lot of stuck energy. So with this 10 of wands, I don't know what that burden is. And bless you, Capricorn, because it feels like you've been carrying this for a while. I don't think it's something new. You've been carrying this burden for a while. And even while you've been carrying this, you've been trying to start something new. You have been trying to start, you've been trying to get out from under this. And no one can say to you that you haven't done anything because you have. You absolutely have. It's just, oh, I think it's getting to you right now. <coughs> Excuse me. The weight of it is kind of getting to you. So when the Ten of Wands shows up, the good news with this is that it's the completion of that cycle. Whatever that burden is that you've been carrying, it's about to drop it. You're about to, you're, well, you're about to drop it. And um, this can also be, I mean, let's get a bit mundane with this and have a look at it in terms of how it could play out. In a relationship, you've been carrying the burden, the other person hasn't. In at work, you know, you're the one that's doing all the work. Now, this can talk about delegation, like getting other people to help you. And that's just it, you know, um... You know, I'll talk about it in my outro, but on Thursday, I was trying, I tried to post on Instagram. So I posted ear signs and then I went to post earth signs, right? Virgo, oh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And it just blocked it. And the message, the message for earth signs, I don't remember what came up for fire and water, but those poor bastards didn't get their messages either. Thank you very much, um, earth signs. But um, they, earth signs got, you know, to ask for help. And it was so bizarre because the message, it kind of came through with the fact that the message wouldn't go up. It's that earth signs were so reluctant to ask for help that they didn't even want to hear it. And I actually posted that and said, I guess earth signs don't like to be told to ask for help. But, you know, we all need help and there's no, no shame in it. In fact, sometimes it takes more courage and more strength to ask for help than to just struggle alone. Right. It makes more sense to ask for help. And but what you also what you always get whenever you say ask for help is that like, no one can help me. Everyone's going through their own shit. You know that. I mean, I talk about this in the outro, but it's not. It's not about who can help you. It's the fact that you ask. If you ask a person for help and they say no, you're still sending out that kind of SOS call into the universe. Whereas if you keep struggling on your own, you're saying, I'm fine. I'm doing this. I enjoy carrying this shit. Which no one does, right? No one does. So, yes, the burden. But it is getting dropped. I feel like this week... This week, you're kind of working through... I think you haven't even acknowledged. I think it's become that kind of monkey on your back now that you're so used to it that you won't realise it's gone until it's gone, guys. I think it's just become a part of who you are. You're just so used to carrying all that weight around, um, all that burden around you on your shoulders. But you have this as the heart of the reading, the focus. This is how I know things are lightening up. You're going in a different direction. Um, I love the Page of Wands. This is about starting something new. Pages for me... I know some people read them as people. I don't. I don't usually. As a rule, I don't read them as people. Um, they're always energies for me. And pages are very similar to aces. Because they, they are the first card of the court cards, right? And so with the page of wands, this is something new, exciting. Um, it's going in a new direction. You know, he's the adventurer. He's explorer. He's very much like the knight of wands. But he's even more enthusiastic than the knight of wands. Because the knight of wands is all about the fun He's just exploring. He doesn't even know what he wants yet. He's just excited to be going anywhere, right? But this is going in a different direction from where you have been. So things are kind of shifting up and it's, you may not this week be ready to go in that direction, but you know, you're, you, you are considering it. You're considering it. Now, why is that? Why is it? Because you've been trying to build something now. The Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles is a beautiful energy. Absolutely amazing, beautiful energy, but it's coming up as past or foundation. So this can be last week, last month, last year. Doesn't matter. All it indicates is why we are where we are. So you were trying to get something off the ground. Um, 
this, whatever begins with the Ace of Pentacles, I've always said this is my favourite Ace. It's an opportunity to begin something new and something that builds slowly. It doesn't have to go very fast. It's Earth energy. It's your energy, right? So you build it slowly. Each brick gets put in that foundation solidly, carefully, because this is going to last. And the Ace of Pentacles is that energy. It goes all the way to the ten. And the 10 is the legacy, you know, what are we here to do that stands the test of time? So you want to begin slowly and do everything correctly, properly. Um, so it kind of feels like either you had an opportunity to start something in the past or you have been trying to get something off the ground. I get that. Now, this can be pentacles are all about stability, security and support, tangible representations of those things, whether that's our work, you know, investments, homes, um, even relationships. I I think whenever I want a relationship to start, I want it to start with the Ace of Pentacles. And I say that every time. But whatever this is, I don't feel like it's fully taken off or you've been able to get it to go ahead as much as you can. Why? Because look, the next card up from this would be the Two of Pentacles, right? That's coming up as a future energy. So it's like you haven't even been able to take that one step from this to go forward. Why? Because we have the Devil coming up here. And the Devil is the card for Capricorn. And I know people don't like it. I do. I love the devil card. I think it's amazing. And it very much kind of taps in to the kind of themes that Capricorn is known for. And But I think people get caught up with the fact that it is the devil. But it isn't. What does the devil do? The devil offers us temptation. And this is the card of temptation. And it's whether you're going to allow that temptation to have power over you or not, right? Anything can have power over us. It's when things go too far. That's when the devil energy comes in. And we always give that thing the power, right? We, it's not like something comes and grabs us or takes hold of us. It's things that we allow to hold us back. Now, when I say that, everyone says, no, I didn't. I didn't choose this. It's not my fault. Well, we always choose everything, whether we did consciously or not, or unconsciously, right? But um, even if it's just choosing how to experience that situation. So it's not about blame. That's the pl first place it goes. It's not about blame. It's just about understanding that, you know, the choices are not great in this situation and I have to do this, you know, but you're still choosing that you have to do this. And that's the Ten of Wands. No one forces him to carry that. They're not tied to him. There's no one else in this picture. He carries it because, you know, he knows the destination is close. He wants to take it there. So this is not about victimhood at, at all. These are tough choices that people have to make. And I fully understand that, that we have to do that sometimes. But the thing with the devil is, it's actually the card that comes before the tower, right? And the tower, that's why the tower is a helping hand that comes in. Because it kind of smashes us out of this. It frees us. That's why the tower, I love that card as well. And these people are chained, but the devil doesn't actually do anything to them. They can free themselves at any, to at any time, but they kind of like that. You know, it, this can be old behavioural patterns. This can be, I think for you guys, this is some burden, some responsibility that you have. So, which is why it's going to be very hard. I can already feel that resistance. It's going to be very hard to hear that you have a choice. And it's fine. You know, you can be sort of sc um, screaming at the screen right now saying, Jay, I don't have a choice. I know it feels that way. When you have that combination of the Ten of Wands and the Devil. But please, I mean, the whole point of what I do is to empower people. And there is a way out of this situation. There honestly is. This is getting put down. This is your week to put that down to release yourself from that burden and it can be anything right like I said a relationship a job or just taking on too much doing too much but then think about it what comes up what crops up you know what's the trigger here is it when I say that to you do you think well who else is going to do it if I don't do it why is it all up to you these are the things to kind of explore so with the devil coming up yes it's about releasing yourself releasing yourself from this where does that lead what well, leads to the two of pentacles now, this is where you actually, uh, the good thing about this is you have more options now, right? The Two of Pentacles, it's, pro it's weighing up the options. This can actually be a business partnership. I'll just say this. Someone's trying to start a business and we have one pentacle, that's your pentacle. The Two of Pentacles for me sometimes can be a business partnership, you know, where two, you, two heads are better than one, right? Someone comes in and maybe that's the new direction that you go in. It kind of frees you up to do more if you get someone else in to come and help you do the work. But it, even with that, it feels like, you know, you're having to make a lot of practical choices and decisions. There's, I, I mean, I said it at the beginning, there's so much weight here, Capricorn. There's so much weight coming in here, just on top of you. It just feels like that as I'm reading this. But this is what you want. Lightness, creativity, you know, passion to come back. 
And that hasn't been here for a while. How could it be? With this happening and this happening, right? This can be an unhealthy connection to someone, I'll say that. Someone who they are very capable of taking care of themselves, but they don't. They just expect you to do it. Which is why I kind of feel if this isn't a connection or a business partnership or, you know, work of some kind, um, you're being asked to put down one of the pentacles. You know, if you're in a relationship and you're doing two jobs and your partner's not doing anything, you're being asked to put down one of the pentacles. And it's a general reading, guys, so it can work both ways, right? Um, the thing with the two of pentacles is it says you're focused so much on the details. Like, I have to do this, I have to do this, I have to do this. Because that's the, what the pentacles represent. But there's a whole, like, have a look. There's an ocean behind this guy. There's ships coming in. He's not seeing any of it. I mean, he looks pretty happy, right? He's up on one leg, balancing that. But it takes all his attention to do this. And the C at the back is emotions. How do you feel about all of this? That's what's being asked here with the two pentacles. Well, I'll tell you how you feel. Look at the advice card. It's a nine of swords. You're stressed out. Stressed out. I'm actually worried about whoever is fully resonating with this. I'm so sorry. And I'm actually, you know, worried that this is getting too much for you. Too much for you. Because it kind of feels like you need this so bad. You need this kind of lightening up so badly. Um, the thing with the Knight of Swords is it's sleepless nights, it's worry, it's anxiety, it's um, the whole thing with the devil, right? Let's just go back to him for a moment. It's power, guys. It's power. And I don't know what this situation is, but it's leaving you feeling very disempowered, extremely disempowered. Now, that's why I think your sword's about to go swinging. This is cutting people out, cutting things out, cutting that burden out. You know, there's going to have to be like a a cull here like you know a culling of the things that are just destroying your life at the moment that's what it feels like it's too much it's just too much that's going on here and it's doing this you're under this burden and you can't even think straight anymore it's like this you're just stressed out and anxious all the time and that's where the ace of swords is coming in ace of swords is a new way of thinking it's victory through clarity and the truth and i think some people need to hear some home truths you know why is it that you're the one that's left holding the baby all the time and maybe other people are off doing stuff? I mean, you could be dealing with someone who's the page of wands and the knight of wands, which would be quite, I mean, in, in that case, if you're dealing with someone like this, they're unreliable. They're unreliable. They're all, they're in it for the fun. You know, they're there for the fun times. And when it comes to actually rolling up your sleeves and doing some work, they don't want to do it. They don't want to do it. The knight of wands is the adventurer, the explorer, um, he's in it for the fun times. Now, he can be that person that kind of comes back in. That's the devil. Sometimes the devil shows up. This is a relationship reading for you. This person's been nothing but, like I said, the monkey on your back. The devil here, it can be, it, it is one of the soulmate cards, believe it or not. But it's when, whenever this comes up with clients, is usually, uh, Jay, how do I cut cords? You know, it's that kind of energy that's coming. You can't get rid of this person. That's what it feels like. They just don't leave and it's kind of starting to stress you out. But you can. The Ace of Swords is coming in. That's your truth. Victory through clarity and the truth. There's some tough things that have to be said here. And it's kind of stopping you from going on your path. You're trying to build something solid, guys. But how long has it taken you to get from the Ace to the Two? And you mean you're not even at that Two yet. Because you're still being held back here. If it's not that, if there's no one else involved, guys, it's about your own truth. And what adventure do you want to go on? It's okay to be impractical. It's okay to follow your heart. It's okay to want to, you know, enjoy what you do. It doesn't have to always be a burden. I mean, there can be this mindset sometimes that, oh, well, and I posted something on Instagram this morning about, you know, yes, it takes time. Like, you know, do you want off the rack or do you want something tailor-made? Do you want a home-cooked meal or do you want a drive through fast food meal, right? You know, it does take time, but it doesn't have to be torture. And this feels like torture to me here in some ways for some of you. Right, let's put some oracle cards. I'm sorry, guys, that was kind of heavy. Sometimes I get people telling me that, and it's like, I don't pull this stuff on purpose. <laughs> I wish I could, and I'd love to give, you know, I'd love to give rainbow and unicorn type readings for everyone, but this is what came out. I don't think it's insurmountable, especially with there is progress here. But it's going to involve cutting some things out, dropping people, things, um, and embracing, embracing the fun side, embracing some passion or creative venture or something that you want. 
yeah oh gosh all right we got two here so we got spiritual connection this relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime you are limitless recognize this truth you can do anything you choose to do and that's kind of what i feel here it's almost like whatever has happened here whichever capricorns this resonates with whatever has happened it's left you feeling like you have no power you have no power but you do you're limitless i mean if anyone can handle the devil energy, it's you guys, because you guys understand power dynam dynamics. You understand, you know, that this kind of power of you, this can't, what to do with that power. That is Capricorn. But I understand, you know, if you've been carrying this shit for a while and you're left there holding two pentacles when, you know, you want to go on this adventure, it can be stressful. I mean, with the Nine of Swords as the advice, it's telling you things are not as bad as they seem. Like, remember why you started this. Go back to that. Now, the spiritual connection card, yes. It might be that, you know, you know someone's doing this to you. Whether, and it could be a family member, a lover, whatever. You know, you know that they're doing this to you, but you cannot also deny that there is a spiritual connection. There's something here, some kind of karma or something that's playing out. It may be, you know, sometimes people like this come in our lives to show us our power to help us to um, set healthy boundaries. And that's what it feels like. That's what it feels like, yeah. For others of you, it may be that someone like this comes in who lightens everything up, who helps you carry the burden. Because remember I said this is about delegation, you know, getting someone to help you. Somebody else got chopped wood, I don't remember who. But see, chop wood, it's about the daily chores. You know, sometimes all you can do is to get it down to basic, simple level, which is, you know, chop the wood sweep the floors and understand that you know that will come through because this is trying to obsess to find a way out of this that can be obsessive as well trying to find a way out of this what do i do with this and it's like take it to the simplest level do as much as you need to do as well that's what i'm getting from this i don't usually get that but with this you don't have to do everything you don't have to do everything get someone else to sweep the floors while you chop the wood right it can be that and then we have yin coming up which i actually love this card um Yang is the ma masculine principle of action. Yin is the receptive principle, the feminine principle. And if you have a look at this, a little receptacle here, a bowl. And this is about conscious allowing. You do not have to do everything, Capricorn, honestly. And I know that's going to be a difficult concept to understand, especially with this kind of rocking, this kind of energy. But that's what Yin says. Consciously allow it to come in. Like you set your intention. You understand that this is what you want. But then this faith required, right? You put the bowl out to receive, to receive what's going to come to you. Okay, so it says, dearest you, miracles never run out. Look back over your life and you will see so many moments of synchronicity when all the right people the right place, the right opportunities and the right time just showed up without any of your help. Think back to how you felt just before a miracle happened. You felt you were giving up. See, this is absolutely ties in with this message. Um, you felt you were giving up, but it was more like a gentle surrender to whatever was about to happen. We want you to know that miracles are being concocted for you and you will never, ever run out of them. You just don't get to choose how they come, who will deliver them, when they will show up and what they will do for you. All of that is our department. Spirit knows what is best for you and what wants to be expressed through you. You are incredible and amazing and a magnet for miracles. That would be a good mantra for you today. We're on it. Relax. If you only knew how much you were loved. Sigh. And, you know, that's what it is. If, I don't know who else I said this to. I did say this to someone else. That when you're in this kind of position of trying to do everything, taking control of everything, it, there's no room for faith there, right? It's about, I if I don't do it, it's not going to get done. That's what this reading is. You know, if I don't do it, it's not going to get done. And I don't think that's the truth. And you should be allowed to have some fun too, Capricorn. And I think it's very sorely needed with the Knight of Wands and the Page of Wands. If there's anything you can do, and you might think, Jay, you know, you don't know what's going on and stuff. And I don't, I understand that. But use this energy however it works. Whatever little bit of fun that you can bring into your life today, please try to do it. Please try to do it because it's, this is heavy, like I said, you know, and no one... No one should have to go through this alone. No one should. 